I think when they were making this movie, they asked, how many cheesy one-liners can we fit into this film? And the answer was yes. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review here for Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Now, admittedly, I was a bit hesitant walking into this one. I think that Bumblebee was a happy accident, mainly because it was directed by the guy who's made Caroline, Kubo and the Two Strings, which I absolutely love. Uh, also, it did borrow a lot of elements from the Iron Giant, um, but it's a movie that I remember watching, being like, you know what, that wasn't bad, and then I never watched it again. The part I remember the most about it is John Cena saying they're Decepticons, it's literally in the name. So when this one came about, I was like, okay, so it's kind of a reboot, it's still following along with that Bumblebee reboot, because let's be honest, like the Bay movies, they lost the plot after the first one, and then they just continued to keep losing the plot. But this one, again, it kind of is some form of world ending event is happening. The Transformers have to team up to try and take down this big bad guy before this other really big bad guy that the bad guy represents comes and destroys the world. But there's a little bit of a twist on it. They bring in the Primals, which were based off of Beast Wars. Now, for those who did watch Transformers, the animated series, I didn't. I was too young for that. I think I watched the animated film. I remember it killed my childhood when I saw Optimus die. For me, my first introduction to the Transformers was Beast Wars or Beasties. Uh, I, I kind of go back and forth about which was which. I think Beast Wars was Canada, Beasties was America. I, I don't know. That was super cool. The intro was awesome. The, car the characters were awesome. The fights were awesome. It was a perfect show made for kids. And it was also in tune with Reboot, which was something else that I really enjoyed watching when I was a kid. My two concerns were how is this going to hold up in terms of kind of feeding you that nostalgia? And two, how is it going to work without Baster in the director's seat? Give him all the shit you want. Hate him, whatever. The guy did make the action sequences quite incredible, even if they meant nothing. And that is something that it is severely felt in this movie. It's definitely not directed by a guy who has the same amount of attention to detail in terms of the boom, 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 or just this, the complete kineticness of the camera motion. And that's probably one of the bigger faults that the movie has is it's a tad boring in places but it does make up for that with human characters that you kind of at least don't get bored of care about that might be a little bit strong and while some might actually not like it i did enjoy optimus's just complete blah, 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 hating humans again if you, you're trying to incorporate all the bullshit that's happened with all the other ones it's hard to tell what, what the fuck is going on but I think I like how he just is very down on his luck in this one. Is it established well? No, they're much more focused on doing giant exposition dumps. But I did kind of like that idea. I would have liked to have seen more of it because he just kind of hates humans. He doesn't hate them, he just doesn't trust them. Except there's nothing really to signify why. Like, he makes a reference to Bumblebee having one that was nice to him, but that's it. And it's like, okay, but what's your reason, bro? Why do you not like humans? So I, I like the idea of it, but they don't really do anything with it. As the film goes on and as the stakes start to get a little bit higher, which I will say, this movie has stakes. There are losses. Like, you actually do feel a sense of dread for these characters, especially towards the end, where it does become a giant CGI fight, but that's exactly what Transformers is supposed to be, a big battle at the end, but it's definitely not real at all like there's no real physical element whatsoever that's something that I again I missed from the baster I enjoyed it I thought that was really cool like the one-liners and the terribly corny dialogue is coming out but it reminded me of why I liked watching those shows as a kid it is an amalgamation and a representation of those shows to you as a live audience is that a good thing that's debatable but it's there, it's trying. Like, the amount of corny, whoa, till we are one moments that happened in the movie was, I was disliking it at first, and then it grew on me. I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's exactly what this movie is trying to be. It's trying to be that kind of feature. It's trying to be that kind of film. And at the very end, too, like, there's a little thing that's talked about at the end that I was like, okay, I'm very interested to see where this goes. Overall, I feel that Rise of the Beast, it's definitely better than The Last Night. It's even better than Age of Extinction, mainly because it's not nearly three hours long. But I'd almost take 
all of the original three Bay movies over this one. And that's hard to say because Revenge of the Fallen's awful, but it's got great action sequences in it. This one, it's a passable product. That's probably the best way to describe it. The characters are passable, the plot is passable, the action is passable. To be anything higher is not what it deserves, but to say anything lower of it, I feel is a little bit harsh. So in the end, I'm going to give Transformers Rise of the Beasts a very generous 4 out of 7. <laughs> I, it passes all of the requirements to be a decent movie. Um, admittedly, there was a fucking person next to me who just kept checking their phone texts every five minutes. And at one point I said, yo, TikTok, put it a fuck away. And he was like, oh. and I, I just, I don't get that. Like, how are people still this fucking ignorant and these fucking stupid? Like, Jesus Christ, put your fucking phone away for two hours. Or at the very worst, he if you have a sweater on, trick it under your sweater. Like, Jesus. Anyways, that's, that, that's a rant for a different day. But anyways, guys. What do you think about Transformers Rise of the Beast? Have you seen it yet? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.